Hey, welcome to the official Windows 7 channel and this is another video in the series of BIOSes and understanding what all the options are on this BIOS and on computers. And we'll have different BIOSes with different options because there are literally, um, you know, dozens of different BIOSes with all sorts of options available depending on the computer you have. Second option in the advanced um, BIOS here is called Core Multiprocessing. Core Multiprocessing is dependent on your computer. Um, some computers, especially the ones that have uh, multi-core processors, so uh, Core Duo, Core 2 Duo, uh, Intel i3, i5, or i7, uh, and even some old Pentium 4s that had what's called hyper threading, you will have an option that is called core multiprocessing. Um, old, old computers with Pentium 4s that have hyper threading, this option is probably called more like uh, processor hyper threading and it has an enabled or disabled. Um, multi-cores and virtual multi-cores in uh, computers started back in the Pentium 4 days. The last Pentium 4s that were actually available had an option that was called hyper-threading and it would actually do a virtual double processor. And that's just before we started having Core Duo and or dual core processors and dual core processors uh, took it a notch more and just added a second core in your processor this machine is a core two duo so it's two cores in one processor and so when you have hyper threading or multi cores in a uh, processor well, you can enable or disable the cores. Enabled means that the second core is enabled in your processor. So it means that your computer can see, uh, basically, it sees what looks like two processors in one computer. If you disable it, the second core is disabled here. So it means that your processor pretty much acts like an old Pentium 4 machine with one core only and so why would you want to actually change these options it depends on the operating system you use and the programs that you'll want to use now keep in mind that some of the core 2 machines can actually work up to the Windows XP days and I've even seen a Windows 2000 installed on a Core 2 machine and that was working. But the thing is, Windows 2000 and Windows XP, the first versions, are not multi-core programs. They cannot use a second core. It's something that was not actually possible and they just didn't think of it. The technology wasn't there when Windows XP started in 2001. So that's why they did a uh, Windows XP 64 bits version uh, in the later years because they needed to have something that could use uh, the address range and the multi cores in the programs. So when you have a really old operating system and you've got old software, one of the things that might happen is that one, you know, one of the core in your computer will basically be uh, unused. And what that means is that you've got two cores that just make, you know, more eat and take more energy out of your laptop, for example. So if you know that it's, you know, not useful to have a second core working on your processor, you can disable it to extend your battery because by disabling the second core, battery 
the battery in your laptop will last longer. And uh, also the fact that sometimes having multi-cores on your Windows machines and old Windows XP can make some programs run um, badly. Some of the programs will actually have problems in multi-core machines. Uh, even if they're not used, it does add a layer in Windows where something is happening and um, actually multi-cores are still visible in old computers so when you boot up um, actually your computers uh, if you go in the uh, hardware section of your computer in Windows you will actually see that two processors are visible in the program and some software actually just don't work with multi-cores and will actually bug and if you got that machine and that machine runs one of your uh, you know a piece of software that's extremely important for you well that piece of software if it's so important and there's no updates available means that if you want to make it work you might have to disable the cores so this is why it's available core multiprocessing or on some machines like I said it's called hyper threading and uh, I've actually seen in Windows XP on my uh, Pentium 4 machine that uh, some pieces of software actually crashed because of hyper threading and I had to disable hyper threading to make the software work and uh, be stable again so that's why it's available because you might need to disable on some types of uh, software and even in more recent um, operating systems Windows Vista and Windows 7 if you use old 32-bit software that's several years old there might be a possibility that you need to uh, disable the second core of your multi-core machine for some software so that capability is in the BIOS and it's available there so uh, it's interesting to know that it exists so if you uh, enjoyed these series of videos on the BIOS and what it means and how it works well hey uh, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed when new videos are online if you have any comments questions on what you've seen let us know and um, hope you come back to the official Windows 7 channel and continue in watching this series on BIOS thanks for watching bye bye